Hello, this is your teacher, teacher boom. So this video is for my term five, right? Five slash one, five plus two, five plus three, and five slash four. Now, uh, today, I'm going to be doing the correction of the exercise I gave to you. I sent you a picture. So I'm going to do the correction now. I sent you a picture on online. So we are going to be doing the corrections of the exercise. Okay. So now let's to begin with, let me start with the vocabularies again. Let me remind you. So agitate, military, contrary, psychological, inevitable, subsequently, him, lyric, bereaved, paranoia, influential, hallucinate, spearhead, theory, anguish, overt, demise, reconcile, inexplicably. So the first exercise we are going to be looking at will be the exercise on page nine, right? On page nine, page nine, the exercise on page nine. So choose the correct definition of the word in bold, bold, the word in bold. So the first question is, the first question is, a reverend visit the bereaved man who believed the bird was sent from the underworld. So we have bitter, grieving, furious. What do you think is the answer? The answer is grieving, B, grieving. The answer is B, one, B, grieving. Okay, two, his host begin to hallucinate. His host begins to hallucinate. A, B, or C? C, C, okay? Three, these themes are frequently connected to a feeling of loss and a fear of one's inevitable demise. What do you think? A, B, or C? A is death, B is job, C, marriage. So the correct answer is A, death. So we are done with that first exercise, vocabulary review. So now the second exercise, still on page nine, choose the best, the best word to fill in the blanks. To choose the best word to fill in the blanks. These are the blanks. These are the blanks. Okay. So Elga Allen Paul wrote uh, wrote about literary what? Literary what? Agitation, theory, paranoia, lyrics. Literary theory, B. Literary theory, B. There was no real, no reason for fear, but he was upset. There was no reason for fear, but he was Inexplicably, inexplicably upset. C. Number three, in France, the other countries, in France and other countries, Paul's writing was what? A, influential, B, anguish, C, bereaved, D, reconciled. 
poet's writing, Paul's writing was influential. A, influential. Number four. Da, 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 da. So what others said, Paul's belief in art for his own sake. A, psychological, B, reconciled, C, inevitably, or contrary. And the answer is contrary, contrary. Number four, D, contrary. Feeling some da, 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 the man kept turning around to find one or two, one. No, sorry. Feeling some da, 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 the man kept returning around to find no one there. A, paranoia. B, teams. C, military. D, lament. Lament. So the answer is A, paranoia. Okay. And our last exercise language, form, and meaning. This is on page 10. Okay. This is on page 10. So, number one, let's choose for the form of the word to fill in the blanks. Number one, the people who lost their jobs were very. People who lost their job were very A, agitation, B, agi agitators, C, agitated, D, agitating. It's a past tense. The people lost their job already. So it's past, past. So it's were very agitated. C, one, C, agitated. Two, the water looked real to him, but he was, the water looked real, but he was, right? This is not past, it's still something happening. So, so he was, B, hallucinating. He was hallucinating, or let's say past continuous tense. He was hallucinating. So when, number three, when his beloved dog died, all he could do was, was, there is a was already, so we don't have to conjugate the verb. So, so all he do, he was, all he could do was lament. All he do, all he could do was to lament. When you conjugate is to was, you don't have to change the word again. So lament. Four, she keeps all of the books in her room. Themed, organized. C. She keeps all the books in her room. Team organized. Okay. Five. My friend's father is very, in a way, he disciplined his children. This one should be a verb, right? So all of these are noun. This is a verb. So military is noun. So the next one, military, military, militarily, okay, military. So that's it for today, okay? So just do in your books, uh, like try to check with the ones you did, and you're going to take a picture and send me into the link I will send to you, okay? Okay, bye-bye.